That swing's so pure, it reminds me of Adam Scott's. They've played nicely, but no wins next to their name. But you got to feel with the way they've been playing so far this year, it's bound to happen sooner or later. That's a pretty handy shot. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. This putt coming up is for birdie. Looks good off the blade. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to six under. John, what's going on? Talk to us, Goose. Well, we're on the seventh hole now, guys. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. From 26 feet. Get in. And he holds it. What a putt. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. This hole here is a par four. Difficult par four, 451 yards, water and sand all the way down the left-hand side. Hit it out to the right, find the green with your second and sprint to the next hole, making four. That's not the one he wanted. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. And the effort, that one. And this effort by Justin Thomas. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Well, pretty shallow lie here in the sand. I don't think it'll... Evan under par with this putt. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Just two shots back after that hole. We find ourselves on a par three here. Par three, 237 yards in length. A brute, to say the least. It is a tough hole surrounded by bunkers. If you can make three here, you're a happy person.
got to say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Didn't quite strike that as cleanly as they would have hoped. Error mailed the green with that approach. Oh, I thought that one was going in. He has this putt to save his par. It's got a chance. Yeah, we'll take that. And that finds it in a share of second. The final hole on the opening nine at TPC Sawgrass's stadium course, Rich, is a clever three-shotter. Par five, 583 yards. Most players will play this as a three-shotter. Just find the fairway out to the left, second shot out to the right, sets up a very simple third shot to a very narrow green. Miss it right or left, good luck getting it up and down. The ball looked a little thirsty. Well, Rich, I'm being honest, this lie is putrid. Yes, this is like a big bowl of spinach salad. It's just gnarly in there. Good option. Take your medicine and try and get it up and down from there. Playing their fourth shot. Three strokes off the lead. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. That's just inside the range. There's 17 feet remaining to the hole. Tracking. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. Here we go, Rich. The back nine on Sunday. What are your thoughts so far? Not bad, two back with nine to play, can't afford any mistakes. Let's see if they can continue pressing on and making birdies. As you make the turn here at TPC Sawgrass, the 10th hole is a clever one. Pretty basic par four, just 424 yards from the back tee. Players take out a hybrid or a three wood, hit it out to the right hand side, which will leave a short second shot. However, lots of undulations on this green, so make sure your second shot is the correct distance. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. I wonder what's happened. And choosing the eight iron here. Great looking shot, this. Oh, almost went in. Nicely done. John, talk to us. What do you got for us? Well, we're on the 11th hole right now. This is Ian Poulter's next shot. Wow, from a dodgy lie ridge. How special was that? That was sensational, Luke. Let's get back to it, shall we? This one's for Birdie. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today.
Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And that will take him to seven under. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. I tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Par five, 558 yards long. Avoid the fairway bunkers on the left-hand side, and you might have a hope of going forward in two. However, you better be brave, and you better know what you're doing because this green will call you out on the second shots if you're not careful. Not bad. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. I gotta say, this is a 10 on the scale. Nicely hold. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well, that's big boy golf right there. Definitely brave on that one. Setting up a nice eagle opportunity, especially since they're one back of the lead. Oh, that's a fantastic attempt from that distance. Shame it didn't drop. And it certainly makes putty easier, doesn't it? I like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Par 4 12th, a new design in the last couple of years. Water all the way down the left-hand side, but it's a drivable par 4. Most players will bail out to the right, but the brave ones will take on the green with their tee shots. Twos and threes are easy to come by, but so are fives and sixes if you get it out of position. This looks to be hitting for the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. That should find the surface. Well, that's beautifully judged. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Oh, good look at Birdie here. Okay, steady now. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like sitting at minus eight for the day. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. So many different levels to this green on the par three playing 181 yards. You can get it close. You can even make a hole in one, but watch out if you hit in the wrong spot on the green. It'll be difficult to two putt from there. Going with the seven. Oh, 
That's not what they were looking for. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Well, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? Well, guys, this looks like it's about 21 feet. Oh, just missed. This next part is for bogey. Nice stroke. That's a bogey, but not a bad putt. That shot goes in. That'll be a birdie. A little punch shot here. Oh, yes. What a result. Fantastically played. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. There's a few birdie opportunities out of the gate here on the second nine at TPC Sawgrass, but it really starts to toughen up down the stretch, starting here with a difficult par 4 14th. Difficult tee shot on this playing some 481 yards from the tip. You find the fairway, and you've got a decent chance of finding the green with your second shot. But if you're out of position anywhere on this hole, your number will go up exponentially. Going with the six iron here. Yeah, well played. And this putt to move into a share of first. And with only four holes to go in this event, Luke, this is a good opportunity, big moment for this player. Get in the hole. And with that putt, he's bounced back immediately from his previous drop shot. And that will take him to eight under. He's currently tied for first. Quite often the hardest hole in golf, a long par four. One of the more simple tee shots on the golf course, par four, 470 yards. Just a little fade required off the tee to the fairway. The green sits up above the fairway a little bit, surrounded by a couple of bunkers, but I got to say, I like this hole. It's straightforward, it's simple, before you head into the final three. Oh, great swing there. Sitting at eight under in a share of the lead.
Looks to have chosen the seven iron. No harm, no foul there with that shot. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. And the putt drops, now an eight under, heading down the stretch. Hang on to your hat, folks. We're on for a wild ride. 